Joining us now is Ojini Kaoji Ope with stories trending around the world. Hello, Jini. I was just asking if you were good. Yes, I heard you earlier, Baraka de Sala, <laughs> saying when you leave here, you're going somewhere. I hope you're taking me with you. With, you're taking no, no, me with you. No, I'm not going I, with I you. I know you're going somewhere, so <laughs> let's all I'm prepare. Let's all you. prepare to I'm go. on my own. I'm on Ave Lebo. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> you're, you're on Ave Lebo today. <laughs> I always see Good morning. Good morning. So, I'm following Dr. as he follows the news. Yes, that's what we're doing. You know, I, you know we love uh, our woof and implications here. Good morning, Rufai. How are you? Dr. Bati, you're a woof. Dr. Bati, you're a woof. Okay. Take me to your bag. Dr. Bati. Ah, you know Dr. Bati has all the big I know. I, 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 knew, I, I knew it was going to be. Uh, ah, so, Dr. Bati, please today. take off. Um, Take well, us all right. Let's follow you. <laughs> well, all right. Well, good morning to you, viewers. Let's begin what's trending by joining former President Mohamed Buhari and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in wishing Muslims in Nigeria and across the globe a happy Eid El Adha. Buhari, in his Eid message signed by his spokesperson, Garba Shehu, said leading a country like Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life, which demands the sacrifice and the support of citizens. The former president further urged Nigerians to fully support the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in order for him to succeed. Tinubu, in his Eid message, assured Nigerians that he is working day and night to prefer solutions to the country's challenges, further stating that the decisions taken so far by his administration will reform the economy and remove all the impediments to growth. He also urged Muslims to remember the less privileged while celebrating the Eid festival. Well, the president arrived the country on Tuesday after his first official trip abroad. His plane touched down at the Maltala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos around 5.10 p.m. He was received by the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songwolu, Femi Bajia Biamila, Chief of Staff to the President, Kayode Egbetokun, the Acting Inspector General of Police, and Nuhu Ribadu, the country's National Security Advisor, among others, Upon his arrival, the 81 Division of the Nigerian Army, as well as personnel from the Nigerian Navy and Nigerian Air Force, mounted a guard of honor for him, while the standing troop of the Lagos State Council of Arts and Culture provided entertainment. <laughs> Well, Tinubu left the airport and headed to his residence at Bordelonikoyi in a large convoy with the Lagos State Governor, while a video of the convoy elicited several reactions on social media. Let's take a look before we take some reactions. <laughs> Dagabanu. Well, all right, let's take some reactions. This is from a sports doctor who wrote, even Joe Biden of the United States doesn't move around with over 100 vehicles in his convoy, but let's keep hailing Jagaban, poverty capital of the world, spending like they own the world while their citizens suffer untold hardship. Well, Oluwa wrote, the president's convoy isn't this long. 
Why this convoy is that long and heavy is because of the number of dignitaries escorting the president on his home visiting as a president. Well, governors, speakers, reps, members, senators, service chiefs, ETC. That's why the convoy is this long. Well, Niger Delta Road. Ribadu left his office in Abuja with entourage and taxpayers fund to fly to Lagos to meet a man whose office is in Abuja. These are the people telling you to bear 500 naira per liter of fuel and 40% increase in electricity. Well, Dr. Bati, over to you, because I mean, I know that you have been around the president and presidents. I mean, I would like another opinion uh, besides the <coughs> opinions of some of the Twitter well, I, I, analysts. I always use that well, I think because of yeah. the hardship in the country. Absolutely. People are very sensitive mm -hmm. about anything that appears a bit conspicuous. Yes. And uh, this is not the first time that Nigerians will talk about convoy. Uh, we often complain when there is VIP movement, whether it's the president or anybody else, because the airspace will have to be shut down. Uh, traffic will have to be uh, blocked in certain parts. So people are always very sensitive when they see convoy, particularly when it is uh, the convoy of the president. However, this has to be put in context. And I think it's that Olua Shola uh, that got put, that put his or her finger on it. When, you know, uh, the person wrote that, look, this is not just only the president's yeah. convoy. They, no Nigerian president goes about with 120 cars, as some people are claiming. I don't know who counted the vehicles one by one anyway, because I've seen some people say, oh, 120 vehicles. Yeah, this was a two-minute long video. Yeah, so but I don't it's, know. Not, it's not possible. You will stay by the roadside and you will be counting the number of vehicles in the convoy. But what... Olu Ashola was telling us, is that, look, there are so many other dignities involved. The governor of Lagos State will have his own convoy that will follow behind. You, uh, the inspector general of police was also mentioned as one of the persons there. The national security advisor was also mentioned. Other service chiefs were there. And there are also smaller big men. You know, because I saw some of them, some of them would go. I, I, I would love some clarification on smaller that. Big smaller big men. Yeah. Oh. I saw some smaller big men. Big men levels. Big men get levels. The speaker of the uh, Lagos State House of Assembly, I cited him. So, so are people like that, smaller big, big men? All these, all these dignitaries, they will oh, follow the president uh, back to uh, his residence mm -hmm. as he arrived. And don't forget, this will be President Tinumbu's first yeah. visit to uh, uh, Lagos since he went to Abuja to assume office as president of Nigeria. So for his supporters, you know, it was a special meaning. They say, oh, city boy is coming back home to do Salah. And then it's a festive season uh, also. Uh, when next he visits Lagos, uh, you may not have that kind of crowd, you know, uh, visiting so that much, that much, uh, uh, you know, of a crowd. Uh, and you see people even, ordinary people even went to the airport to receive him, and they were hailing him. So for the people of Lagos, for his supporters, it's some kind of festival. And during the festival of sacrifice, you know, they All welcomed right. him from abroad. The second leg of it is the statement that he has issued um, on the occasion of the uh, Eid al And uh, we've made the point that, uh, well, you know, uh, the three parts that we identified earlier on, that it's important, that it's sending across a message of hope, that it is important, that it's reminding everyone of uh, the essence of the uh, uh, Edel Hada, and also at the same time, uh, reassuring all of us as Nigerians that he will work day and night, and he has started working day and night. It's a very tough job he has. Yes. I hope he finds time too to relax. Yes. Uh, because if you work day and night, you will break down. But I thought he meant that in a metaphorical yeah, manner yes. to say that we address the challenges that may come up. Yeah, I thought that his message was quite refreshing. But Dr. Bat, I also want to ask you about the 81 vision of the army and also the uh, navy as well as, you know, all those no, people that when, came, when came the, by to, um, you no, know, receive the president. The, the movement of the president of Nigeria is a security movement. Okay. So, so if this is uh, what's will, going to happen You will moving find forward. the police, you will find the military uh, providing... Uh, you know, as uh, security for him. Oh, no, I meant but, receiving him at the airport. 
Well, yeah. yes, they, they okay. go there. These are, you know, his, of, his officers. Okay. You know, they go to the airport. It's not as if they will send a battalion there. No, it it, it looked like it. Oh, but the, okay, the maybe it's a parade. parade. That's, That's what I was asking. Well, yeah, I mean, they don't. It's a, it's the parade necessary? They don't have this Jabati. elaborate parade. That's why I was shocking. That's why I'm shocking. And that's why I was saying, maybe because this is his first visit to Lagos, you have this big ceremony. I don't think they will have this big parade every time. But there will always be... There will always be a guard over now. Right. You know, oh, really? there will always be a guard yeah, over now. absolutely. When but the I... president arrives, mm -hmm. it may not be this elaborate, mm -hmm. but they will always, he will always inspect a guard over now. Okay. Either when he's traveling or when he's returning. Yeah, well, I liked his Salah message, and I love the fact that he talked about the less privileged. But, you know, we've been talking about reducing the cost of governance. We are seeing this parade. We are seeing the convoy. But, I mean, you cannot help it but say, I mean, how are we going to even cater for people when we are... Basically, I mean, what was Punch reporting this morning? We're going to be about 101 million poor people. 7.1 I mean, million will join us. Uh, I mean, this is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Country, yes. But before I come to you, President Bola Tinubu on Wednesday morning joined other Muslims faithful in Lagos to observe the Eid al Adha prayers at the former state house in Dodan Barracks, Obalende. President Tinubu prayed for Nigeria's peace and encouraged citizens not to give up yet on the nation as the future ahead remains promising. Nigeria will see peace, stability, and God will grant peace to those of us who are in the war front, who spare their life, we give them victory, those in the hospitals, we give them succor and peace, and keep them in good health path to recovery. So he will just be spiritually uplifting. Our faith. Allah is there. All right, uh, Rufai, the president has said that the future is promising, that we should have faith. I mean, over to you. I mean, uh, the truth is the president definitely will always put out a message of hope out there and we should be hopeful because despite things are sad for us now in our country, we should constantly be hopeful. But you know, the thing about hope is this. I think it was Francis Bacon that says, um, you know, hope can be a good breakfast, but it's, it's, it's a very terrible supper and we should be careful about hope. We should be cautiously optimistic about hope. We should not just hope but we should do things that will make things work for Nigerians and just, just be selling hope. We want to see results. If you want to say, let's hope for, for a better nation, give palliatives to people that are suffering. Not everybody can kill Ram. Even if the small big men can kill Ram and drive in convoys, or the smaller big men, using Dr. Abbas's word, can kill Ram and drive in convoys, <laughs> does not mean us that are not even men at all, let alone big men <laughs> or smaller big men, can kill anything. They've warned us about killing sick rams. Oh, so, uh, 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 yeah, because of anthrax. Yes. So let's be careful as regards that. But secondly... <laughs> oh, if you put pepper, no anthrax. So, <laughs> but, but secondly, Oji, I, wa I wanted yes. to give my opinion about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yes. I do, when I saw the convoy, I do not think it's the president's convoy that will yeah, be that absolutely. long. We have to state the facts. Yeah. But the optics looks bad. And I'll tell you in two regards. Number one, so that's how much our government officials move around with government funds. I saw many SUVs there, and I was just calculating 45, 45,000 naira to fill the tank of those SUVs. Mm -hmm. And you know how much we have to go out of government? But that Tax is too money. much. Taxpayers' Tax money. Taxpayers' money. Secondly, OG, on top of that, there are no Nigerian made cars in all of those convoys. Oh, that's a good point. So, how do we grow our economy? When we don't have a lot of Nigerian made cars in all those countries, we are making cars in Nigeria. Yeah. Would you see the president of France drive another car, car from his, uh, another country on his convoy? Will you see the president of Russia do the same? And these are part of the things we are saying. These guys should cut down on their costs. You see, because when poor men like us look, what we see is affluence. Yes. And just like your robberies on our face. Mm -hmm. And secondly, that uh, military, what is it called? Parade. Yeah, one, I um, thought it was too much. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I had to ask. He's been sworn in, Dr. Abati. They've that. done parade for him on swearing in. They, they, they he, can't do this all the time. If he comes to Lagos after swearing in, he should move home like other citizens. They should stop all these parades. It's too much. What is all of this? Let's call it spade a spade. 
we are things are hard. I keep saying the sons of Issachar understood the times. Our politicians, they don't understand the times. Optics. Do you know what people will look at and say? Absolutely. So there was no need for all of that. Yeah, you can mount a small government, but there was no need for all of that parade. You should just come back, go home, and be thinking about this nation. And do it for a lot of people. I also hear that uh, because it's our neighbor, Mr. President, I also hear they've declared in body law, you know, that the uh, declaration goes there every year. Implications okay, people what are getting declared in body law. What does that mean? There's a new ah, residence in body law. No, is that what you're talking you, about? What does it mean? Please. When they say declare, yes, it means that uh, there's a uh, RSVP. You know what RSVP means? I know what RSVP means when you have an invitation on a card. <laughs> oh, do you know that? <laughs> Maya, please help RSVP us out. <laughs> means rice and stew very plenty. <laughs> That's what we are saying. But I drove so, around body law today. I saw the uh, Shimaji residence again. A lot yeah. of people out there. And that's the declaration I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I say. I hear there's declared for people. It's good as it's reaching out to the poor. Okay. But we need to do more yes. for the poor. So we have acknowledged this declaration. A lot of people have gone there. They've gone to do RSVP. Our rice and stew very plenty. Okay. But we should do more <laughs> for the poor. And um, all of this showing off is not too good. I would love Ayo's beautiful analysis okay. on all of this. So, uh, he's president now. Yes. He's no longer just Jagabano, the Lion of Body Lord. Jagabano! So, Jagabano! Jagabano. <laughs> changed now. <It's> changed. <laughs> Didn't you hear? You hear that? So, declarations will not suffice any yes. longer. Because what declarations do, in quotes, is that they keep people on that, um, that leash of wanting to collect stipends at the expense of the national, or, 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 or national um, benefit. So he's no longer um, lion or body lion. Please, let's stop that. But beyond that, um, Oji, we're asking that, oh, what's the whole, you know, people coming around. It's also the opportunity for him to, for people to lobby. Yes. We yes. talk about sycophants a yes. lot. The president has not yet announced his ministers. Of course, people would almost lie on the floor and ask or put their best quotes for him to walk on because at this point, people are also looking, hopefully, to get some favors or some inroad into his government. But yes, we must say, you know what, what, what the truth has to be said. It's his first time back in the city of Lagos, the city that he talks about he, you know, having built and the city that he has invested so much in. So let me use the opportunity, since he loves the city of Lagos so much and since the governor was there, was that one of the things you see when you see um, convoys is red flags for traffic, yes. traffic, traffic. And I say this because the traffic situation in Lagos in recent times, because of the state of the roads, is deplorable. We have to bring this into and bring this to their attention and hopefully give us the gift during this solar period of good infrastructure in yes. the city of Lagos, the city of aquatic splendor, and the city that has produced the Federal Republic, the President. Oh, <laughs> 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 but can you really blame Nigerians? There are so many stories. Even the fact that he didn't return right after, you know, the yeah. summit. I mean, there's that picture of uh, President Tinubu also. Uh, if you can pull up that picture of uh, him and uh, uh, former, former president, president uh, Muhammad Buhari meeting in London, if you could recall, uh, Dele Aleke had said that, you know, um, he was going to return on Saturday, June 24th, after that global financial pact summit. And, uh, you know, we see that he had gone to uh, visit uh, the president there. So I guess that the president is in, the former president yes. is in London he at this point. He cannot go to he London. He cannot go questions. to London and stay as <laughs> much as it. But again, there is another story that was trending recently. I am yet to confirm because I sent a, a message to that Amino Kano hospital. And they talked about the fact that their hours of electricity was mm. going to be reduced from between, I believe, 2 p.m. to, to 6, 6 p.m. I mean, in yeah. a hospital because of the price of fuel. I mean, this is it. Our Those are the things we are talking these, about. These are Nigerians. I mean, how can this happen in Nigeria? We need to look into this, reduce the cost of governance to help this infrastructure and all of that. Well, all right. Let's uh, head over now to Sierra Leone, where the incumbent president, Julius Madabiu, was re-elected president after winning 56% of the votes cast to defeat his closest rival, Samura Kamara, of the All People's Congress, who trailed behind him with 41%. Uh, Julius Bio, a former coup leader, became Sierra Leone's president in April 2018 under his administration. Unemployment and high cost of living spurred violent protests in 2022, 
Kamura and the APC are challenging the outcome of the election, alleging lack of transparency and accountability by the country's electoral commission and have vowed to reject what they describe as fake and cooked up results until they reaffirm their victory. Well, on Monday, the chairman of the electoral commission, Mohamed Kone, had announced partial results of the election, raising concerns as to why the electoral commissioner was in such a hurry to announce an incomplete result for a crucial election that had put the country on edge following reports of isolated critical incidents, including attacks on polling officials and political party agents, as well as harassment of police officers and police arrests. While the chairman of the Political Parties Regulation Commission, Abdullahi Bangura, earlier had urged politicians in the country to conduct themselves peacefully by taking a cue from Nigeria's Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Let's take a listen. I have always referred to Peter Obi. When he lost the election, we all know the promise he held when the elections were being conducted and uh, almost everybody who is anything in Nigeria do their support. But when the results came out otherwise, he didn't call his supporters to the street to wreck havoc. He took the legal path and then uh, by that way he was able to save his country from chaos. So we will uh, encourage all of our politicians to learn from that example. Leadership is about self-restraint and leadership is about selflessness. So we expect that uh, our politicians will demonstrate this. I mean, the process has been peaceful so far, so let us continue to be peaceful and uh, to promote the interests of our country. Thank you all. Well, I think he spoke well. All we can urge Sierra Leoneans to remain peaceful and follow the process of, you know, the courts and make sure that they don't go out and protest. Because go as you recall, court. go, go to, to court. court. <laughs> go to court. As you recall, in 2022, there was that protest and people are um, at this point outraged. Well, let's end what's trending today with this video showing the governor of Oshun State, oh. Ademola Adeleke, popularly known as the Dancing Senator, and our very own Rufai Hosseini, oh, showing off their dance skills at the United oh, States oh, Independence Day celebration in Lagos yesterday to kick off your Edo Kaber celebrations. Let's take a look. I call for a rerun. You oh call for a rematch. I only wish Go I... Go to court. <laughs> Go to court. <laughs> Rufai, but you're fantastic. I only wish I could dance ah, now. You know, you my, my, my leg, I'm still pele, waiting pele, for it to heal. Pele. I just want to spin and tobale just like you. Pele. No worry, we will we'll challenge uh, the governor to another round. Yes. Uh, to the octagon. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but how was the event, Rufai? Oh, it, was, it was lovely. It was a good one. And, and everybody was there, you know, everybody in the politics, across political lines. People came together and they yeah. laughed and they had a good time, you know, to celebrate the Americans. Business leaders were also there. I think it was a good one, you know, yeah. and uh, we might have political divisions, but if you have an mm -hmm. environment where people can come together despite their divisions and yeah. say hi, shake hands, I mean... I think it's quite good for our country. It's beautiful. So, beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful. evening. Well, Can yeah. I just ask, yes, say, the ahead. question I asked you, Fai, was that, you know, the beauty of that video is that it doesn't mean that when Governor Delike comes, he won't be grilled on the show. Yes. Uh, so yes, that so. he shouldn't be taken out of context. You know, and that's the spirit of saying. You, you, know, what, you so know what he was telling me? What? I was like, ah, uh, Rufai, Oburu, Oburu. <laughs> but I saw him hugging you. I don't yeah. think he thinks you're that Buru. Uh, no, Buru. no, no. I mean, it was, it was just a good, so yeah. I, I think what a lot of people don't get yeah. is with our work. Absolutely. Once we get up here, mm. despite the fact that we have friendships and all of that, that's it. we are doing this in public trust for the people. That's exactly. it. That's and it. it is the people that are come first. I was able to ask the burning questions on the mind of the people. That's it. Right. So that's, it. that's just it. Well, I mean, 
uh, Governor, former Governor Absolutely. Shomale was here. We had a dance. We had a great time. Yes, yeah, so Shomale, so, yeah, I have that so video too. Well, please, and again, that's just it. And, and they must also be able to talk to the people because yes. it is not us sitting here. It is the people. We're just representing Absolutely. the people here. Absolutely. Well, all right. Well, I'd like to thank you all for your great analysis as always. And Dr. Abati, you know we're coming right after. <laughs> Dr. Abati, anywhere you go. We're yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, I'm not coming. Well, all right. Anywhere you go, we go with you. Anyway. All right. Well, happy holidays. That's all I have for you on What's Trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.